What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Fariko Trigger here bringing you a review on the Xbox Live Arcade game for Arcade V Blood Dragon, which is currently on the marketplace for 1200 marks off points. An extra bonus to this is you don't actually need the Far Cry 3 disc to run it, so it's just download it and off we go. Blood Dragon is set on a futuristic cyber island where everything is basically cyberized, you've got the man, cyberized and all the other enemies. One thing I really enjoy is how you start off the game flying around in a helicopter, spraying bullets here, there and everywhere, destroying parts of buildings, blowing up gas tanks and even helicopters. Another thing I really enjoyed was the sarcasm in the tutorial when you're actually going through all the movements, it actually starts saying, are you an idiot basically? So you just carry on with it and towards the end it basically says, are you fed up with it? So you click yes. When you do start moving around you'll find it's a bit sluggish but that's easily changed in the options menu. You just go to the, the settings and change the sensitivity. Right, let's talk about the progression in the game. X, XP is the key to getting yourself bigger and better. The experience is known as cyber points which are earned for a variety of ways such as killing enemies which this in itself has several different ways because of the killing techniques you can assassinate from behind headshots and melee kills they all range I think assassination is the highest one but you can also chain kill another way to earn experience is completing objectives and stealing collectibles off dead bodies which is like the other Far Cry's where you go up to the bodies, skin the animals and so forth Right. The more, the more points you earn, the more skills you can get to make your cyber commando even tougher and let's face it, we all want to be the best badass we can possibly be. Another good thing about the game is you actually start off with a preset weapon wheel which consists of a sniper rifle, a pistol, a shotgun and an assault rifle. Um, also along with that you get four lethals I would say, you get frag grenades, molotov petrol bombs, C400 which is basically up C4 and a sort of bouncing Betty. Along with this you can also heal yourself but yet again you have to collect them. Um, but Gaining damage in this game, it can be a real burden on you because if you do decide to run and gun, like I do, you tend to take a lot of damage and the screen goes incredibly blurry. So, my advice to you is to try and go as stealthy as you can. But that's just my opinion. But for the quick review, log, it, it was a good game. I played a good two hours of it. It's not really for me because I'm more of a run and gun. I don't like to take things slow. That's more my opinion though but let's go. Right, just to finish off the review I've got some good news for all you uh, Far Cry 3 fans. Up until Monday Far Cry 3 is available on Games On Demand for $14.99 so hurry up guys while the clock's ticking. This has been Fariko Trigger reviewing Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, don't forget to stay alive and stay gaming, trigger out.